So do we want to just dive right into the products we're talking well, about? I was thinking we could dive right into the, the ingredient that makes both of these products highly effective. All right, let's do it. And um, that in one, in one case, we use an extract of something called bearberry. Mm -hmm. And it's called bearberry because it's a bear's favorite berry. <laughs> we didn't um, make this up. We did yeah, not make this up. We didn't. This is all true. The bearberry extract um, actually inhibits tyrosinase activity in your skin, which is the thing that makes your skin overproduce melanin. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we have that in our serum called the Complete Fix. We call it the Complete Fix because the Complete Fix has other incredible ingredients that do other things there. Do you want, I've been blabbing. Do you want to talk to uh, the Complete Fix and what a fantastic, amazing product it is? Absolutely. So the Complete Fix has a ton of ingredients. And the reason we call it the Complete Fix is because it addresses any skin concerns that you might have. So we have things like red marine algae in it. So once again, that's a peptide that's really going to help boost up those cells, get your um, batteries going and get your collagen production up. So it has peptides in it. And it even has other ingredients that help the skin, that give it vitamins and minerals to really nourish it. And let's not forget, it has other ingredients that will help fade sunspots, uneven skin tone, and it has licorice extract and daisy extract, plus the bear berry. So you're getting a ton of really great skincare ingredients in this one product. But today we're focusing on any type of uneven skin tone. So. And I, we mentioned that first. I mentioned it, It's the one that I use. Mm -hmm. um, religiously. And I, I use it because I got lots of skin challenges that I would love to see a nice repair on. I've got um, lines and wrinkles. I've got sagging. You know, I want to keep my collagen, the collagen production up. But the complete fix with its bearberry extract and the fact that it um, it creates alpha arbutin. That's the key word. Mm -hmm. Alpha arbutin which really tells your skin, it just basically, it, it says, behave yourself mm -hmm. and stop making those spots. And it's fortified with the daisy flower extract. I urge you to look it up because it's a new, uh, out, just crazy on the mar in the marketplace ingredient. People are going nuts with it. Mm -hmm. So that one, the serum is what I use. However, there are other there is another product that we're making available to you that is strictly for uneven skin tone. Mm -hmm. If you were to say to us, look, you know, I don't have a wrinkle. Uh, I don't really have a problem, these other problems. I'm not worried about boosting my collagen. Um, I or you use another product to do that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. But I really want a faster, now the serum that I use, it took about six months of use or let's say four to i started noticing at four months other people started noticing at six months mm -hmm. so it, it 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 does what it needs to do over time it does it gently without any irritation or damage or whatever but if you want a faster result if you want something that will you know improve the uneven skin tone quickly mm -hmm. sarah what should they get the perfect tone fade cream and this is an awesome cream. I mean, when we first brought this in, we had some very important and experienced people that did it. I don't know if anyone, well, we have a ton of consultants on right now. So Sharon, she was such a proponent of this product and she was like, we have to get this in. It's amazing. It works so well. It's fast active. I mean, this product, it really, really, if you're looking for something to just even the skin tone, this is the product. I even have my husband using this one because he has hyperpigmentation. So, well, and the other thing was, if you're sitting around the product development table at the office, what we actually said was, yeah, this stuff is amazing, but mm -hmm. we can't afford it. The raw, it's so expensive. This is, you know, you, we're going to have to find something else. This is just beyond what we can afford with the Alpine Beauty um, in it. And you know what? We made it happen. Mm -hmm. We made it happen to the, the maximum efficacious level of the alpha arbutin. We did what we had to do. We brought it in because there were certain people who were saying this works so incredibly that um, we, we've got to do this. 
Mm -hmm. And it, it took us, it did take us a little while to get this product in. I know when we first sent out some samples, um, you know, we came around and we said, you know what, this product is going to be too expensive. We can't do it. And I mean, it was like, you have to get this product in. I can't stop using this. Find and, a way. Mm -hmm. find yeah. Find and, a way. and that brings another point up that I think we should talk about. You do have to continuously use um, these treatments. You can't stop and think that the age spot will just disappear forever. No. Absolutely, yeah. Right. It does come back. You do have to continuously use if you, including hyperpigmentation. I know my husband is so bad about skincare regimes. And so every single day, if I am not telling him to go wash his face and do his, I've given him the skincare regime. I've told him how to do everything. And if he does not use it, those, the scarring or hyperpigmentation comes back. So you do have to continuously use this product. Well, and let me tell you about her husband. Her husband is a Marine, or a former Marine, I should say. He's a man's man. He is all guy. So, so the fact that he's got Sarah on his case about using his proper skincare, it, it's it's a little funny because if it were for him, man, he, you know, he's a man's man. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and he he uses soap. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, he wants something fast. And the reason I actually chose the perfect tone fade cream for him was because I know he's not going to do it every day. I know he is not going to be religious about it. He just I have to tell him to go do it. I even have to tell him to wash his face. Like, you got to wash your face <laughs> at least once a day. Come on. <laughs> so it's funny because everything I give him, it has to be, it has to work fast and it has to be effective because, you know, he's going to skip it probably twice, three times a week. And I just have to be on his case about it. And he's always like, he always is like, you have to remind me, you have to remind me or I'm not going to do it. So if you're looking for a fast, active, and you have like, I know you targeted some sunspots with it. I did. Um, it's really an amazing, amazing product. And the the comments we get about it are like, this is unbelievable how fast it faded my um, age spots or my hyperpigmentation. It It's one of those products that you must try. You will not regret it. You'll see instant results from it. So if you're looking for it, it's on the Color Me Beautiful. Um, if you go to skincare anti-aging, you'll see it. It's the Perfect Tone Fade Cream. It's amazing. Any spots that you need to fade, it will just even out that skin tone. Flawless. Absolutely flawless. So, so just to recap, um, if you want a fast result, if you want something that will happen more quickly, go with the Fade Cream. Mm -hmm. the, the Perfect Tone Fade Cream. If you want to have additional benefits so that your skin, your skin tone becomes more even. The mm -hmm. um, fine lines and wrinkles. Your fine lines and wrinkles. If you want an overall anti-aging effect and you have several challenges to your skin that may be brought on by aging, the Complete Fix is a terrific mm -hmm. um, option for you. Mm -hmm. I, I use the Complete Fix, but I did put on, literally, I swear, um, put on the, the Perfect Tone Fade Cream with a brush. Mm -hmm. get some of my most challenging spots under control. Mm -hmm. And I had a real problem here. Like, a, I don't know if you can see it. And maybe you can see it a little bit. I didn't put foundation on this part. Um, but it, it, it is miraculous mm -hmm. what it, the benefit you get. Now, another ingredient, and I think we should at least mention, even though we're talking products that even the skin tone today, vitamin C um, has a benefit. Now, that's a little bit down the ladder. Uh huh. I would say vitamin C is really great for protecting. So when you use these products, it's it's going to help fade your sunspots or any hyperpigmentation or whatever your uneven skin tone is caused by. It's going to help fade it. But you also still need to protect your skin because the sun is still going to be trying to damage and those free radicals are still going to be trying to damage your skin. So you still need products to protect yourself. Like and, and the first thing everybody, Sorry, Sarah. The mm -hmm. first thing everybody thinks about in terms of protection is SPF. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, that, that's a no brainer. Mm -hmm. but, um, when you get something like vitamin C, which does um, help even the skin tone while it scavenges free radicals, it is such an incredible little hunter of free radicals mm -hmm. that is also going to improve your skin tone. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, I just want to say one last thing. The I can't speak to this either of these products about um, age spots or sunspots or 
whatever hyperpigmentation because I have been super religious about sun sunscreen and fighting free radicals. But, excuse me, but I will say the, I mean, the comments that we get about these products are incredible. The Perfect Plum Fade Cream, I have never seen a response. I've never seen Sharon Boone be so excited about a product before and just to say, this is incredible. We have to get this in here. And uh, trying to figure out a way how to bring that product in and make sure we could get it in the line and it just be cost effective. I, it was such a challenge, but the results are amazing. And it, oh, it is such an incredible product. I've never had time to do it without any reduction of efficacious ingredients. So um, many times the product, you know, people will find a raw material and they say, oh, wow, this raw material really works. It has clinical studies. It does what it says it's going to do. And this is the level you need to use it. At. Mm -hmm. And what happens is by the time it gets to the formulators, people go, well, your fill cost is X. And, and people will go, wow, that's kind of expensive. I mean, this this ingredient is expensive. And you have to use it at this efficacious level. Mm -hmm. We do that. If you look at our product, you will see when we market a product for doing a particular thing, it is important that we you see that efficacious ingredient in the top half of the ingredient connect because we are about delivering the results that we market. Mm -hmm. Let's face it, bottom line, I have friends that watch these videos and many of you guys have become my friends. And I'm not about saying something is going to do something when we didn't use enough of that ingredient mm -hmm. to show you the same kind of benefit. Mm -hmm. And I recommend this product all day long to friends and family too. I even have my husband using it. So that's why it is, we really believe in this product and really think you need to check it out. The same is true of the Complete Fix. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many times have you recommended the Complete Fix to friends of mine that you know who say, you know, Sarah, what should I do about, you know, looking younger? What should I do about the overall improvement to my skin? I already cleanse, I don't have moisturize, whatever. Mm -hmm. What's going to help me at my age? And I've heard you recommend it many, many times. Absolutely. And I know we were just talking about trying to figure out how to bring this product in because the cost is so high. I will tell you right now that the Complete Fix and the Perfect Tone Fade Cream are probably two of our most expensive products for us to make and trying to keep it down for everyone out there and trying to keep the cost down because I, it's really an incredible product with so many beneficial ingredients in it. And if you were to go out there on the marketplace and look for products that compare to this, I don't think you would even find it. I really do, you know, do you know where we look for cost savings? It's not the formulation where a lot of other companies look. We look for bottles that are less expensive, you know, that we can spend less money on our packaging mm -hmm. and so that we can put the maximum amount of money that we have for a product inside the bottle. And sometimes people will say, well, you know, what about your box? Why don't you do oil boxes? Or why don't you do these fancy bottles? Or, oh, I thought this great new bottle from this company and whatever. Because we put the money in the bottle. Because mm -hmm. the bottom line is when you open a carton, it may not have foil all over it, but you're going to throw it away. And the bottle, as long as it's functional, we look for the least expensive way to bring you the most expensive ingredients. Because what we what we are going to do is just sprinkle, you know, a little here, a little there and make a claim on it because we use these products, too. I mean, and, and you the know, way that you use can, this product. The way you can look to see if a company has done that is look at where the ingredient that they're marketing appears in the ingredient deck. Mm -hmm. Up high, you're good. Down mm -hmm. low, mm, not so good. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to take, we've got some really good questions um, in the comments and I'm wondering if we want to take any of these. Yeah, let's go ahead. Um, let me scroll up so I can make sure I get everyone. So just saying hi to Robin. Thanks for joining us, Veronica. Hello, happy Monday. Um, we have, uh, Deborah, Deborah wants to know uh, what she needs for her AM yeah. and PM routine. Honey, I got you. Yeah, so we I can give you. you an entire regime, make sure we're talking and solving all skincare concerns that you have. Um, Martha is asking, yes, please, I'm just a little bit older. What is what is the question on that, Martha? I'm not, um, do you need a skincare regime or? Posted right under Deborah. She may want to list. Oh, okay, okay. 
So yes, we can do that. We can help you out with an entire regime, AM, PM. Um, is the perfect skin tone for all skin types? Yes, it absolutely is. Um, my husband is oily. He has very oily skin and he uses it. I mean, granted, he's a man and does he love doing his skincare regime? Probably not, but he does use it. It doesn't have a problem with it. Um, can the fade cream be uh, used with in addition to the retinol PM? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you absolutely can do that. There's no problem there. Um, but with retinol, we do recommend uh, going in light and then bumping it up. So just make sure you don't you have any haven't used the retinol. That doesn't really have anything to do with the fade cream. Yeah. It has to do with um, the retinol just itself. If you're starting a retinol regime mm -hmm. that you've never used before, um, uh, then use it over your moisture. The trick that I have, mm -hmm. I'm all about sharing my tricks with you, you start by using it over on top of your moisturizer. Mm -hmm. What happens is if you use it out of order like that, it dilutes the retinol so that if you were going to have any kind of um, concerns about the retinol possibly being dry or whatever, mm -hmm. you work your way into it. But as far as the fade creams mm -hmm. and the complete fix right on clean, dry skin from the mm -hmm. fade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's no concern with mix using um, fade cream and retinol at all. Uh, Michelle says she loves the simple packaging. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, and thank you for calling it simple mm -hmm. because um, I, in my little speech about making sure we can spend as much as we can on the bill, mm -hmm. I may have denigrated the packaging. Um, and I don't mean to do that because, again, we work hard to make it pretty for you. Mm -hmm. But we do um, forego some of the bells and whistles that other companies might have, you know, like the fantastic cardboard liners that are all like all. Well, then I just want to remind you when there is crazy packaging behind it, you're paying for that packaging as well. So it's an upcharge to you that you have to pay for that packaging. So and you're throwing it away. Right, right. And it's kind of frustrating when you think about it because, you know, I'd rather have a more effective product. I'd rather have more research and development go into that product instead of, you know, $5 going of what I pay for going into the, the packaging of that product. And so not not to be patting ourselves on the back or anything, Sarah, but um, <laughs> you know what else you won't see? You won't see these incredible products on a glossy ad in a magazine. Mm -hmm. You know why? Again, because we put the money inside the bottle, mm -hmm. not um, on the pages of a glossy ad, a glossy ad or mm -hmm. so much money. It's this I'm not going off on a tangent here, girls. Just reel me in if you want to. It, this is like an insider secret into the beauty industry. So this is one of those kind of let's be real moments. It, absolutely. So much money. And in fact, with most companies, the majority of the money that is spent on a product is mm -hmm. spent on things you never can use or touch. Mm -hmm. It's spent on advertising. It's spent on promotion. It's spent on sending samples to people. It's it's spent in ways that don't help your skin. Mm -hmm. and what we have chosen, we have chosen a path of the way we get the product out to people who, who want to try it is through our consultants, our people who are already using it, who tell other people this is and if this is the result I've gotten from a product. Mm -hmm. It's from um, sharing it with you like this, and it's from having a 30-day guarantee where no one who wants to try these products is ever penalized for mm -hmm. trying the product. You bring it into your house. If you don't like it, sit it back mm -hmm. and try something else or whatever. Um, because we are all about keeping the maximum efficacious ingredient in the bottle and not for these other things. Mm -hmm. So that's just a dirty little secret into the world of skincare and cosmetics is a lot of company, a lot of what you pay for is just the marketing and the packaging behind it. It's not even something that's really to benefit you. So it, it's to help you find it. And we're here to help you find it. So forget that other stuff and get the best possible <laughs> um, formulation in your bottle. Back to not to pat our own backs. But <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, you know, just as much you want the best, we want the best as well because these are the products we use. So it just comes back to this is what we use and we want the best product we possibly can and, and yours. I need the help 
Like I said, I'm just had a birthday, man. And as those years pass, I am more and more desperate to mother nature at bay. And, you know, I want to be able to wear a V-neck shirt without having to worry about spotted skin and, and crepey skin. And um, man, the complete fix, if I could bathe in that, I would do it because I use it. You know, your face doesn't end here. Well, I use it. Yeah. Oh, here. That is another thing we need to talk about with um, these products. Your face does not stop here. It goes all the way down. Granted, I'm wearing like <laughs> a pretty much a turtleneck at this point, but it has to go all the way down because not all shirts end right here. I don't wear a shirt that ends here. No, every not day. wear a shirt that ends here. That's for sure. Right. <laughs> yeah. People will just put it on their face and they think they're done. Oh no, no girl. Because you, if you have uneven skin tone on your face, you definitely have uneven skin tone here. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you want to just take it down. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I tell people to take, take it right to your bra. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So remember, your face does not stop here. It keeps going all the way down. We should probably say something else because your face does kind of stop here. But for our purposes, we need to make sure all of this looks as great as our face will. So <laughs> that's a key point that we need. Well, to maybe we could say more. fixing um, fixing your face doesn't stop here. Because you know what I heard? Um, it, and it had to do with a certain celebrity. I don't know we, if we can talk to, talk about her. Um, by name, but she was very famous and she was beautiful and she was on Dallas and everybody knew her from being on that the TV show Dallas. Mm -hmm. Lovely woman. And she married a plastic surgeon and we were, and then she had her own skincare line and we were like, wow, that's so unfair because she goes from being pretty and then she marries a plastic surgeon and, you know, she looks so young. But you know what the surgeon could never fix for her and if you look at pictures of her as she has gotten older, they can't fix this hmm. yeah Only you can fix that mm -hmm. yeah i i never even thought about that there is no real plastic surgery for your chest yeah and, and, and if you want to look your best mm -hmm. you need to make sure that you're dealing with uneven skin tone and your uneven skin tone maybe if mine is maybe worse here i mean mm -hmm. the complete fix i was a spotted owl right here. Mm -hmm. Totally. Oh, yeah. And I'm still a spotted owl on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we should challenge you. So that I I do know. Treatment cream. Yeah. I, but, but you know why? Older, it's yeah. hard for me to get, I, I live alone, mm -hmm. and the, um, the, uh, the treatment cream, which works other places, mm -hmm. um, it's hard for me to get here on my shoulder, and I'm still spotted back there. Yeah. That bolt. And, and if you are somebody that does have any type of sunspots, um, sun damage, uh, uneven skin tone, hyperpigmentation, list goes on and on, <laughs> I would use it on your shoulders as well. And you can also use the skin perfecting cream as well. So yeah, we have so many types of solutions for um, if you're having any skin concerns with sunspots. Or so can we back up then? Because we mentioned a few and just do a little recap. Yeah, absolutely. So um, if you're new, uh, today was all about sunspots, um, sun, um, uneven skin tone, trying to fix any type of hyperpigmentation. If, if, if I may, mm -hmm. sometimes they're called liver spots. I find that repulsive. So yep. we're going to just call them sunspots. Oh, back of the hands. We'll go back to that. Yes. Yes, we do need to talk about that as well. But we're talking about two products that will help even the skin tone one the complete fix so if you're somebody that is looking for um not only evening sunspots or um any type of sun damage once again all of what we talked about hyperpigmentation and you're also looking for anti-aging go with the complete fix it's a really amazing serum it has peptides coq10 argillarin it has it all to help it's an extract Love yeah it. It's the extract. Excellent. It has so many amazing ingredients that really focus on anti-aging. Now, if you are somebody that just... Well, but just quickly, what it also has to deal with the uneven skin tone is bearberry extract. And the bearberry extract um, gives us alpha arbutin, mm -hmm. which um, a Korean uh, uh, lab, a chemical lab, but they tested alpha arbutin against kojic acid and... Um, one other 
uh, lightning ingredients that's used in Europe because they can't come here because it's dangerous. And they actually found the best results from the Alfar Butin. And wasn't it Dr. Oz who came out in? Yeah, I, I think the reason that Bearberry got so huge was because of Dr. Oz. He came out and said it was like some amazing, I'm trying to find it, let's see. So he claimed that bearberry extracts prevent visible signs of aging and it just like took off this huge boom about it because once again, you have a doctor of pro that's proven, that has been in clinical studies that has shown how effective bearberry is. And let's not even mention some of those toxic ingredients that go into the, other. Yes, other, uh, even, even in products. Yeah, I mean mercury. Mm -hmm. Did you know if you go out and say, okay, well, I, I, I'm all, all excited. I'm going to get rid of my age spots, but I don't need this complete fix, or I don't need this perfect ton of fake cream. I'm going to go get my product elsewhere. Did you know that some skin tone, even in products, have mercury in them? Mm -hmm. I didn't. I was I was deadly afraid of hydroquinone. Mm -hmm. And then I read that um, in addition to hydroquinone, some of them have mercury. Mm -hmm. so, yes. Yeah be careful mm -hmm. another thing another thing i just want to mention when we're talking about hydroquinone be so careful about, just stay away from hydroquinone we know how dangerous it is and what studies have shown what it causes so just be very careful with any you made a very good point today and um i never really thought about it this way and um, what Sarah said to me was, the thing about hydroquinone, I mean, if you use it at the efficacious ingredient level, it can be dangerous. So there's that. But there are other products, they let it in this country at 2% mm -hmm. because it's low enough that it doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. So if you've got this dichotomy when you're dealing with that particular ingredient where if you get it in a, a level where it's actually going to be effective, it's, it's going to do what you want it to do, then it it carries dangers with it right and if if you get it in a low enough level where you can bring it into the country and where, right where it's actually approved by the fda so something that is actually approved by the fda is at such a low concentration that it doesn't do anything so you have to be super super careful with so that is why bearberry or alpha arbutin the most effective the most efficacious for your skin they scav it scavenges free radicals it helps your skin it's not dangerous so i put this off topic back to you my dear no i i believe this is 100 percent on topic because you do have to be so careful with some of these creams that are gonna help brighten and even your skin tone using these toxic ingredients like hydroquinone so just be so careful um in regards to hydroquinone it's a super dangerous ingredient so yes, be careful. And um, so we talked about the Complete Fix being one of the solutions and switching over to the Perfect Tone Fade Cream. Now this one, if you have a sunspot or um, hyperpigmentation, acne scarring, that is just, you wanna get rid of it, you wanna get rid of it fast, and you have other spots that you wanna just work on by itself. Maybe you are using some other creams for anti-aging, or you wanna use a cream versus a serum, Perfect Tone Fade Cream is the best option for you. It's incredible. It is so fast acting. It uses alpha arbutin as the main ingredient to really help even any spots that you might have. Um, so if you're looking for something that's super fast acting on age spots, hyperpigmentation, acne scarring, sunspots, everything we've talked about today, that's your go-to cream. Uh, you're gonna be amazed. I Once again, I don't wanna say that I use it because I do not but the people that do use it, the people that I know, people that work at our company, um, they love it. it. The results are amazing. We tested it before we even brought it in. And honestly, the reviews, I don't think a product has had so much buzz and hype around how incredible and effective something is. For this challenge. Right. I mean, it, people will tell you all day long that use that product how incredible and amazing it is so you know what the biggest complaint we get about that product is what that they have to continue to use oh. the product to see the incredible mm -hmm. benefit of it mm -hmm. we should just say that disclaimer we should say it right now mm -hmm. these products do not it's like an anti-aging product if you use the anti-aging product and you use it regularly you start looking really good and then you stop using the product 
what happened? You have the same problems. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your skin kind of, you've changed the way your skin works. And it, when you take these wonderful ingredients away from your skin, it goes back to behaving the way it was behaving. Mm -hmm. And this is true of these skin evening products. You know, it, you have to be committed yeah. to using the product and to achieve the incredible result. But when people are giving you compliments and they're saying, hey, you look great. You know, wow, you, you, you just, you, your skin is so bright. You look terrific. Um, disclaimer, I've never had anybody tell me your skin is bright. You know what I mean? You look younger. <laughs> then you gotta, you gotta keep using them. And that's our main complaint um, that we've gotten on this product because I kept notes. Mm -hmm. And it's that they stopped using the product and all their benefits went away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, you, I'm telling you the reviews and everything that people have said about this product are just incredible. And now Martha asked what order if you wanted to use both. Mm. Uh, serum first, the Complete Fix, and then you're going to use the Perfect Tone Fade Cream. So Complete Fix and then Perfect Tone Fade Cream. Now I use mine at night. Uh, I don't know that that's necessary, but um, I, 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 in my mind, I believe that your skin does most of it's again that factory. Mm -hmm. It's a night factory mm -hmm. when it's doing its most um, effective rejuvenation. When it's doing what it needs to be doing, it's usually between the hours of ten and two at night. If you're asleep, you know what? It's while you're asleep, and that's proven. That is proven to be the case are, and it's just like what we do when we sleep we're just rejuvenating our bodies so that is completely proven and you're most effective at night so for me I use those products in the evening mm -hmm. um, when I, I do some spot work with the fade cream with the perfect tone fade cream and I literally use a brush um, and then a, but before I do the spot work because that is a cream mm -hmm. remember um, what we always say is the thinnest ingredients go on first and so a serum mm -hmm. the complete fix goes on on my clean dry skin and when i say dry it's not really fully dry i like to have my skin be a little moist um to use the serum mm -hmm. yeah um i want to make sure we hit some of the other comments that we got so uh we did talk about the skin types it's for everyone um in addition yes Thank you. So, okay, so we've gotten to all comments that we have. Now, if you guys have any other questions about evening skin tone, let us know. Um, we can we will include them. links to both products, obviously, in the feed. Yeah, um, we will make sure we have all of the links down below. And we probably should add a link to vitamin C because mm -hmm. I don't think any show about evening the skin tone, even though we wanted to deal with the alpha butin, um, I think we should mention the C because mm -hmm. to Martha's point, the thing that I'm doing in the daytime is my vitamin C under mm -hmm. everything else. Right. We need to be fighting those free radicals. That's another thing that's causing damage. So vitamin C you need to be using every single day. I know. Just make sure vitamin C is in your skincare routine. Think because about it like your orange juice. You know, if you have mm -hmm. breakfast, if most of you have breakfast every single day. I would get <laughs> breakfast, but my daughter won't allow it. Um, but Breakfast is like an everyday thing. Your vitamin C is a vitamin. It's an everyday thing. Mm -hmm. Right. And I, let me tell you, I know every single day you're probably like, oh, vitamin C, you got to do it. But free radicals do not stop attacking your skin. So this is something. They, they never have a holiday. They right. never have a day off. Right. So vitamin C shouldn't have a day off either because that one day you forget, you're still being attacked by free radicals. So oh, and I said I would mention the back of the hands treatment. Oh, yes. This is so important. And um, and I have, I have great, I can't show it to you on air because I've actually done something about my bad hand. But um, when we were testing these products, I'm right-handed. This is my right hand. That you, I think you're looking at it in reverse. But I would always test the products on my left hand. And my right hand, I didn't. I mean, who knew? And what happened was I ended up with all my spots on my left hand fading away. Mm -hmm. I can show you that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for me. Mm -hmm. I'm all um, fading away, whereas the spots on this side, I still, you know, they're still there. Mm -hmm. And um, if I can do it so you can see <laughs> I'm trying here. I'm just trying to share information. 
it's because um, I am not religious about the back of the hand treatment. Mm -hmm. When I do my skincare, I do it. You know, I'm religious about the throat, but I forget that I should use these products when everything is said and done just to get them off my hands on the back of the hands because other than your throat, what else do people look at to determine your age? If you're using our products, it's hard to determine that if you're looking at the face. They look at you. Mm -hmm. That's such like one of those, um, I don't know, things that everyone says if you're trying to determine somebody's age, look at the back of their hands. So we know the trick. We know that's the first thing that you go for. But you don't, I mean, use some, go ahead, put the serums on the back of your hands and you will see amazing results. Nobody can tell your age by the back of your hand. And also the body cream is another thing I highly recommend. Um, the skin correction body treatment cream, that, I use that on my hands. And this this just came up fairly, your hands are beautiful. Show us your whole hand. You've got, I think you should be a hand model. Beautiful hand. Thank you. Um, you know how much I believe in skincare is not just for the face. You also have to use it for the body. So yeah. I, I will tell you this every single Monday from now on. Skincare is not for the face. It's also for, for the body. You have to be treating your body the same way you treat your face. Well, what somebody said, um, Deborah Moore has the age, or Deborah Moore Kinley has the ages. I, I got you, girl. We'll take care. You will make sure. You, that's good, too. Good, too. Um, but the thing about the hands, and remember this, using your serums on your hands, your serums penetrate and they get down and they do what they need to do. Creams like moisturizers, you don't, you don't really need your moisturizer on your hands necessarily because you're gonna be, it's in the time of COVID, you're gonna be washing your hands frequently. Mm -hmm. so it's really important that what hits your hand is your serum, and your sunblock. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And sunscreen, once again, you need to be wearing that every day. I know you're tired of hearing us go on and on, but yes, sunscreen and vitamin C, those need to be must. And then at nighttime, use whatever you have as your, so for me, I want to prevent aging. So I use every, every single night, I use treatments that help prevent aging. And for you, Whatever you are trying to solve, those are the products that you need to be using at night. Well, well, either going to be trying to prevent aging mm -hmm. or reverse it. Mm -hmm. um, and if Lori says that she doesn't have sunspots and wrinkles, but her hands do need a little help. Now, at that level, I'm thinking maybe just vitamin C. Yeah. You don't have to get into the Or the, um, the skin correction body treatment cream. Either oh, yeah. one. Because that's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't. Um, mostly skin correction. Granted, I do when I do apply serum, I kind of tend to go like this. So I am hitting it with vitamin C and evening skincare regime. So like um, the Complete Fix, Alpha Advanced, Age of Elixir. So they, I probably will tend to do this at night when I. Oh, and the skin correction body treatment cream. I may have misspoken when I said you don't need to worry about your moisturizer on the back of your hands. I meant your facial moisturizer. Right. I do not want to give anybody the idea that I'm not using my skin correction treatment, mm -hmm. body treatment cream. Every time I wash my hands, mm -hmm. I'm really applying it like I did. So that should really be just like kind of at the, after you apply your um, serums or your anti-aging creams, whatever you're using, I would definitely hit the back of your hands because, I mean, there's that there's a famous saying, if you're trying to figure out somebody's age, look at the back of their hands. So. Yeah, we need to be treating. Yeah, Sarah, I think you're like seven. <laughs> Thanks. Seven hand years. <laughs> Baby hands over here. <laughs> so I, I really want hand, hand years. Uh, you know? I don't, I don't know. I can definitely tell the difference between your right and your left. So I can see that. But I'm very when I do um, any type of serums, I always, I when I think now that I think about it, I really just go back and forth on my hands. To try to promote and get it wherever I can. Well, think and about it. Think about it. You, you paid good money, not as much for our products as you could have paid, believe me, for the same ingredient. Check that out on Google sometime. Look at our decks against anybody else's and you will see a dramatic difference. And you can bring our products home for, for prices that are mm -hmm. a third or less. Mm -hmm. um, the majors who use the same things. But 
what you got it on your hands. You why wash it off? Why not make sure that you're applying it to every inch of the skin that you, you can? Yeah, don't waste any. Never wash off your serums, um, your creams. Never do that. Always. Yeah. And I know with vitamin C, there it, it looks like the smallest little capsule, but I that if you talk to anyone, you can apply face, chest, hands. You could probably go up to arms. Yeah, I, it's so weird because it it looks so small, but it it's one of those products that will spread and spread and spread. And there's like so much in this tiny little capsule. So I, I always just am amazed by how silky. It's probably because it is so silky. That formula, you can just kind of really massage it in. Oh, Robin just gave us a really good question. And this, what, we, wow, what a tough question for us because the fragrance for that product. Skin correction, body treatment. Treatment cream, cream. yes. Mm -hmm. um, the fragrance for that product has been the driver in so many of our customers love of this product that when we tried to change it and we even tried to um to pull it pull it back a little bit mm -hmm. we get such a backlash mm -hmm. of, of existing customer mm -hmm. angst that we have not been able to do that now um i think you know, I don't want to say no, but what I do want to say is I would love to talk to our um, manufacturers and our labs about this because we might be able to do something, maybe give a sec second option. So I will look into that. I absolutely will. Mm -hmm. But So what I should have said was we have to keep that fragrance and that, fr that option available to, I would say, 90% of our customers because of the backlash just mm -hmm. changing the fragrance <laughs> well, something that almost matches got us in the world mm -hmm. of trouble and it's funny because deborah is saying she loves the fragrance so that's why it's it's a back and forth it's kind of something that we've talked about before and trying to figure out a solution but we have so many people that love that fragrance but and they 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 i mean it's almost like they are um attributing magical us uh, supernatural quality uh -huh. fragrance because they're set you know it's a it has a cult following that's exactly it a cult following because of the fragrance and this interestingly this product has been um manufactured since ahas became a, a an important part of the skincare regime which mm -hmm. i think is now going on 30 years um mm -hmm. that ahas were tested and determined to be like awesome for mm -hmm. this yeah, but Robin, I don't want to say no because there are people that have said that the fragrance is a little bit too strong for them. So I don't want to say no because that is absolutely something that we will look into. Maybe we can bring it into a different line or try to add all of the AHAs to maybe another product to really get the benefits, maybe with a different fragrance. I will look into it and I will try to figure out something. So yes, we will absolutely look into it. But the fragrance, we have a ton of a ton of people <laughs> that love it. So it is so hard to change something or try to you adjust. That's interesting. Those people, and and we're talking thousands and thousands, mm -hmm. are in my age group, mm -hmm. close to my age group. Mm -hmm. So it may be, you know, that we need to bring in something for our younger customers um, who aren't as religiously uh, mm -hmm attached to this particular product yeah that, I yeah i i definitely want to kind of peek around at the idea i love the idea robin so i really want to kind of try to find something that maybe can work um using those ahas maybe adding it to another product that can be used all over the body or something i will work on that and i will see if we can figure out something that can be helpful to you in that way um let's see so the fragrance is fine at night using the product oh the scent clashes with your perfume Yes, yes, that is a kind of a toughie to kind of determine how to use it. Um, you know, and, I, and I use it at night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it, you know how big of a fan I am of it. I absolutely love that product. It gets rid of any um, bumps you might have on the back of your arms, your elbows. Uh, and those ladies in my age group, they will tell you it attracts men. 
So consequently, when I go to bed at night, I use it from top to bottom. And um, I haven't seen that that side effect that it attracts men um, when I use it. But that, it, these ladies will be like, my husband, I met my husband because he told me he loved the way I smelled. Yeah, we, we have mm -hmm. Yeah, You think yeah. I'm kidding. I am not kidding. Mm -hmm. We have definitely heard those comments before. And it, it, I'm telling you, people, yeah, people use this as their fragrance. So it, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Um, Deborah's saying her forearm pops on Yeah, girl, the fade cream, just move, take it right up. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do it on the inside where you didn't get the sun. Um, just take it right up to your elbows and you'll see an incredible benefit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I need, I do, Deborah, I'm with you on that one. I think I do need to start using oh, some show us your forearms it's not going to show up on screen <laughs> I'm, laughing. I, I'm laughing because martha just had a comment she said does it come in a gallon size oh. <laughs> yeah we've talked about that we've talked about having um some type of spa where you can just lay in a tub of it of that cream and just full body spa mode that way we're trying to come up with something not sure Probably won't happen. <laughs> well, we did. Actually, a little history here. All of these Atrian Arpel products started out as fully uh, spa products. They were day spa products. And I don't know if you remember, again, we're getting back to my age, back mm -hmm. in the olden days when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. There were day spas in stores. And the Atrian Arpel uh, products were noted for being the first line that brought spa quality products for day spa. So we made them in gallon size jugs, mm -hmm. honestly, because of the services that were offered. Um, they were paid for services, but if you wanted to get um, a vitamin C service where, you know, you had different products and had different things going on, they, the stores bought them in the gallon size. So yes, in fact, uh, many moons ago that those products were available in gallon size jugs. I don't know how many men they attracted. <laughs> I, I heard it a lot. So, you know, hey, let's let's try it and see and report back. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have definitely heard those comments before about the skin correction body treatment cream. So once again, if you are somebody that hasn't been treating your skin, your body to some skincare, just grab the Skin Perfection. It has AHAs to help exfoliate. Use it at night. Uh -huh. It also has your moisturizing benefits. It, so it really just a complete skincare regime that you need in a bottle. So for now, Lori, wait, Lori just it went on topic, which it's a great question that mm -hmm. I would love to address. Um, and she said she wished we make foundation for oily skin. Girl, we do. Um, mm -hmm. The microfine pressed powder foundation is perfect for oily skin. Um, mm -hmm. Again, off topic, and this is a color product, but it can be used wet or dry. Mm -hmm. And um, for anyone with oily skin, it is to die for. Mm -hmm. Now, Martha is asking about a shop where she can try products. Right now, I do want to say we are not sending samples due to COVID. So right now we have um, stopped sending samples out. Um, when that is no longer an issue, we will begin sending samples again. But if you um, want to shop and try products right now, yeah, that's pretty much not. Uh, Sephora is not doing it. Um, Ulta, there really isn't uh, that kind of capability, which is why we have such a robust return program. Because we uh, we don't believe, um, you know, if you try a fade cream mm -hmm. uh, and you go to a store and you put it on, it's not going to fade a spot. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to see a dramatic result in terms of your lines and wrinkles and you try it on. Mm -hmm. You're not going to see that. You know, you might see texture. Um, mm -hmm. And for that, I think you need 30 days, which is why I mean, at least 30 days. Mm -hmm. And it's why we offer uh, the return policy that we do, because yeah. you can't sample your way in three plus two there. Mm -hmm. You know, one try. Yeah, I, I, I really do hate to say that we can't send samples right now, but we are trying to be as safe as we possibly can with what's going around right now. Um, so and even when we do send samples, it's for you to see texture, mm -hmm. um, it's scent if there's, there is any um, right, right. absorption, things that um, are more about the, the look and the feel of the product, mm -hmm. but for the efficacy, just mm -hmm. it, 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 bite the bullet and assume, you know, you might have to return. Mm -hmm. 
And if you have any questions with your skincare regime, feel free to message us. We can help you out. Let us know what your skincare challenges are. Like if you do have hyperpigmentation and even skin tone, let us know. If you're trying to fight fine lines and wrinkles, let us know. We can help you build your own personal skincare regime about, around what you're trying to solve. Also, a um, question from Matthew about help with color analysis. Send us some pictures. I think it must be Deborah because sometimes married couples will have the same oh. name. <laughs> So if you need help, let us know. You can send us a picture of you in natural light. And send Matthew too. Uh -huh. if, if you need any, if you need any help, just send us a picture in natural light. We will be happy to help get you into your season. So don't worry, we're right here. You can just message us. Um, we'll get and, and when she says we are right here. We mean we are right here because neither of us are leaving our houses. So <laughs> we, we love. Stay. Yeah, we stay here all day. Um, and then Lori, I remember when JCPenney sold CMB. Yep, yeah, we were in JCPenney as well. Now I think they just filed for bankruptcy. I'm so sorry. So, <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be sorry. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's what it is. But yeah, yeah we aren't there anymore. <laughs> and um, we were in Macy's. We were in um, stage stores. We were we were all over the place in retail. And what we did was color analysis for people. People would come in the stores, and it was a really nice fit um, because they would come in, they would get their colors done, and then they would go shopping. And um, ultimately department stores as they tend to do decided they wanted to cut costs in terms of labor mm -hmm. and um, we then said you know what this doesn't work unless you're getting attention you know you can't just walk in and say I want that one mm -hmm. without anybody there to help you and so when we lost um, the additional labor force as they were trying to cut costs we decided to do what we're doing now which is make um, make ourselves available to you uh, online, by phone, and to have a, a field of uh, image analysts, consultants, who can also assist. Mm -hmm. So just a little extra background in case you're interested. <laughs> all right, so um, I believe we've answered all questions regarding a... Um, you know, you're trying to drag this on, Sarah, because this should have been done like a I, we've completely got off topic. I'm so sorry. So it's Monday, and you guys have made our Mondays brighter. I love this. Thank you. T G I M. If you have any other questions, not only evening your skin tone, if you have any other questions, we'll be happy to help. Just leave us a message in the comment, or you can message us, or just leave a little comment down below. We're going to hop into the comments after we get off. And we hope you guys have a wonderful week. We'll see you on Wednesday for Wine About It Wednesday. Um, if you're new, if you're new on here today, on Wednesdays at noon, okay. we do color analysis. We talk about color, finding your right colors, um, the best colors for you regarding makeup. Uh, we talk about it all. So if you're Sarah and I decided today that we're going to treat you guys at some point in the future when we can figure it out for um, our Wednesday show and color, actually mixing the color that sh show you how the color is mixed for your season. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited about that because it's fun. Yeah, we just need it. to figure out how to do it. <laughs> well, just setting up the cameras is gonna be a little tricky, but what we'll literally do is mix the color right in front of your faces for your season. So please join us on Wednesdays because we work hard to come up with um, interesting content um, that will also change your life because let's face it, looking younger and wearing the right colors, which also helps you look younger, um, and more than that, I mean, I know I harp on the whole age thing, and I'm sorry I do that, but that's my concern. Mm -hmm. But wearing the right colors makes you look more confident. It makes you look more pulled together, and it makes you the it girl, whereas um, there might be somebody out there who you look at and you say, why does she always look so pulled together, and why does she always look so chic? And, you know, sometimes they attribute it to being French. Well, girl, you don't need to be French. <laughs> All you need to do is be in the right palette. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So if you're interested in color analysis, join us Wednesday, Wednesday. at noon. Yep. And we're we'll drink. Bring yeah. wine. Yeah. Don't forget to bring your wine because it's what about it Wednesday. All right. So we'll see everyone Wednesday and have a fabulous week.